Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be sharing a quick video of what I'm creating for my birthday meetup that is coming up on Sunday. And it's, I'm super, just super, super, super excited. It was supposed to be last weekend, but we had like a crazy storm. So it got changed to next weekend. And you guys, I'm super blessed to have friends that literally go above and beyond to do these type of things for me and it's just amazing so i want to give a huge shout out to them lori love you nancy girl oh my gosh and i didn't even know some of these girls were helping so i want to say thank you so 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 much christy and there's karen and of course my mom you guys i am so so excited okay let me show you um, what I've decided to create. So there was supposed to be 18 girls or 19, I think 19. Um, so I went ahead and created 19, um, little folios. So as you can see, these are all the ones that I created and I'm going to share with you these two because these are the two designs, like either it's going to have a hooray here or a celebrate. And I'm going to share with you also what dies I used so they're all pretty much similar I went with the same color scheme um obviously I didn't have enough of the same patterns so I just you know if I did like a rainbow at the top then I made sure I did a rainbow for all of them if I did mostly teal color for the bottom then I did that for all of them and if I did a pink that's how it was for all of them as well so some of the, they're all exactly the same. It's just the, the little, the little, um, word right there. It's either going to say hooray or celebrate. And then the, um, the little embellishments are pretty much the same, just different color. Okay, let's start with this one here. So this is what I created. I did a tear style pocket so there's not much room in them as you can see like it's kind of busting out the seams here and that's kind of what I wanted I wanted like a little tight squeeze and I didn't know exactly what I was going to do um to fill it up yet I just knew I wanted to do a tear envelope and I went ahead and stitched around it and then I backed it up with 110 pound. I still have to add my labels on all of them. So that's one thing that I need to remember to do. So up top, I have this birthday hat. And this birthday hat is a, I believe it's a KS Craft Memory Dex shaker. But I went ahead and stitched it and made it a tool shaker and didn't use the memory decks Because I figured... These are cute things that they would be able to reuse for somebody else's birthday. And then this hello here is a punch. Uh, I believe it's Fiskars or it's um, Teresa Collins punch, an older one. And I did go ahead and use, let me see. So the paper, I was getting a lot of um, comments or messages actually of what paper pads I or what paper collection I used and I did a mixture. So I went ahead and used some from Let's Celebrate and then I had this paper pad from Tuesday morning like in 2018 and it's Joy Parade by Fancy Pants and it's so beautiful. Normally I do not like fancy pants because I mean especially back then because it just didn't have anything that I loved but this one I did love and I also used hold on and then I also used what is this collection the simple stories magical birthday so those are the three collections that I mixed and they go perfectly together. So this little panda was from the Let's Celebrate. Yeah. 
and I made my sequence mix and I made it very simple. So let me compare that one to this other one because this was my first one I made. And I kind of wanted to go like all colorful and different right here. But then I decided that it was a little bit too much and I liked it a little bit more simple. And it also helps that my six-year-old daughter came to see what I was doing. She goes, Mom, there's too much. It's too much. What does she say? It's too much patterns. She goes, it makes me a little... Um, what did she say? Oh my gosh, I can't remember exactly what term she used. But basically, she said it's just too much. Oh, she said it's too much decoration. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, if my six-year-old is telling me that's too much decoration, then it's probably too much. So I didn't um, do this for all of them, but I am one person is going to get this one. I don't know who, so we'll figure it out. But I was like, dang, I've never met a six-year-old telling me that anything was too much decoration. Normally, it's like it's not enough decoration. So... Hold on a second. Okay, so those are the hats. And then on the next little pocket, I did a, a thinner thing because you can't have all bulky. And I went ahead and die cut three of the Happy Birthday to You die cuts from Lawn Fawn. And I figured if they were making a card, they can just pop, them, pop this on a card and like put it I don't know something like this like I don't know they could figure it out this can go used by itself the embellishment can be used by itself so I went ahead and used the the like light teal color and then a pearl pink and then like a, a darker pink and then in the little pockets here I made these embellishments here. So this one has the little balloon dog. And this was actually one of the last things I made. Because I didn't know how to decorate this part right here. And so I, one of my friends, actually Anna, who is creatively blessed Anna, gifted um, Nancy some birthday mail. And I seen that she used the little balloon animal. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have those. So I pulled them out. And I used them for, th for this one with this embellishment. And this one is the second one. Normally you can use them like this. But I liked it to the side because it's something a little bit different. And then this is the pocket itself. Um, this die set here is a Mama Elephant Hooray Banners. And these are not dies. I cut these strips out and did my own fishtails. This is a scallop punch. And then this is a circle punch. Same for these. Um, I went ahead and printed these and cut the little sentiments out for both of them. Like I said, this one here is a happy birthday to you die from Lawn Fawn. And for the other one, it's the same colors. And then this one's just a little bit different. This one has little sequins. And it has a different cake. So the cakes are different, but they... For this little specific one, all of them are going to say eat cake because I, they all have a cake on them. And then for this one here, they all have a little balloon animal. And I put celebrate. And this die right here is a pretty pink posh celebrate die. It's from their new release. I just didn't use the shadow because I just wanted the word. So this is done the same way. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, and see you next time. Bye.